Is this spinning Lego thingy floating in thin air? Well, sort of. Let's see how it works. It might look a little tricky, but the concept here is really quite simple, and it's easy to build if you have some Lego handy. These are two little Lego pieces with lights in them, so I sandwich them between these two pieces, and then attach them to this wheel which can be hoisted on a central axle. You'll also need some of these magnets with holes in them. Now because Technic is more my jam, I then built the spinner with these connector and spacer pieces. Next then, we need to build a platform that'll host the magnets that'll keep our spinner levitating. We'll connect one magnetic assembly to the platform here, and then after building a second one, we'll need a smooth surface for the spinner to sit against. These three lift arms here will do. And we'll attach them to the second magnetic assembly. Which will then pop onto the platform here. And then we'll build a bit more support for the two halves. Now we want to carefully lower the spinner into place and if we've done a reasonable job of positioning the magnets on the spinner, the bottom platform will repel them, making it float. Now balancing anything magnetic is virtually impossible, so what keeps this spinner floating is that the magnets want to fall to the left. But because we've put those three lift arms in the way, the spinner has nowhere to go, and so it simply levitates in place. Now it can be a little wobbly, and you might need to do some adjusting to get it to spin nicely. So this concept is quite simple, but I have some ideas to spice it up by turning it into a perpetually spinning desktop thingy. If you're interested in seeing more of these LEGO experiments, feel free to follow.